tell you what, these, this, this has all of the, Renato Canuto, Victor Silverio, uh, has, has the makings to just be a very explosive, chaotic contest. But both guys are, are, are very crafty, and they both can play very intelligently, which is my code to say that this also could be very boring. <laughs> it's, not, it's not boring if you understand and you love the tactics. There is no match in the World Championship that is boring when you, when you really say what the tactics are. It's always exciting. To me, the matches are always exciting, but if, if there's a lack of action, you've really got to start to look at why is there a lack of action. The gripping, the tactics, the, the defensive uh, composure of, of both of the athletes. So both guys here are incredible on the feet. Uh, I, I will try Kouchi Gari's right there. It's right handed grip here by Canuto. I love the action on the feet, especially when two guys are really talented, and these, both of these gentlemen are. The level change by Silverio. Now we got a left hand on the collar. Both have left, so left on left. Canuto has some incredible flying stuff. Nice try on Tomonagi and Renuto. Beautiful flying arm locks. So there he tried a, a little Tomonagi. Maybe he didn't just get the elevation or the spin. If he tried a Yoko to spin a little bit more. Left down left. Kochi try. Silverio now looking to make his grip. Canuto really moving Silverio around. Another attempt to Kochi. There's a Kasoto attempt. Really nice movement by Canuto. Drops Sayonagi. Silverio trying to neutralize right now. Canuto winning the grip fighting. He's got that cross collar, but you see that, that the left side there. Silverio really having a challenge on the left, on his right. Canuto's left with the, the sleeve gripping. Now Canuto trying to get underneath. Has to settle for the sleeve. So two sleeves for Canuto. Left hand on the collar there. Canuto working to get underneath there. He's got what he wanted. Now he's cross collar and awesome stuff so far. A lot of very nice grip fighting going on. I love it. Canuto right now, the more active of the two, slightly edging out Silverio in the gripping department. There's a nice left hand capture. There we go. Beautiful drop, Sayonagi. Set up off of Kouchigari, then right to the back. This is what I'm talking about where there's potential, just potential fireworks can happen in this thing. Both of these guys, so explosive and dynamic. What a technique. Kouchi there now. Silverio going for his own Kouchi, but man, oh man. What a nice setup. We will definitely take a look at the, that later. Now Canuto, left hand grip, right in the sleeve. Left on left, both of these guys. Now nice inside pummel by Silverio to try to drop down on the single. Now when, I, when you pummel in like that, uh, I think of Silverio just waited a little bit longer and waited for Canuto to release the grip. That's where I like to do that single. It's an exceptional way to get a sweep single off of uh, with the lapel, but you got to wait a little longer. He went a little too early. So there you're trying to break the grip off. Minuto tried to sit down into a Tomonagi. De La Hiva, look at that. Spun around, ends up back on top, back to neutral.
Level change there by Silvera. Now left on left again. On match of the one. The adults. Well, passivity. One penalty for Silvario. And Blues. Representing Qatar BJJ. Right. Here you go. Gabriel Jr. So we'll take a look at the corner of that replay. Look at this. There's that Kouchi, then right into a drop Seonagi, and then right over to the back. It just went out of bounds there, but such a nice combination. He just was, right now, Canuto, uh, as I mentioned, is winning the gripping in the stand-up, and there was a good shot of Silverio really had no grips at all, and Canuto was able to drop underneath there. Kuchi is such a nice setup for that. Drops Yanagi on that side because it removes that foot and then there's a space for the person to fall there again. Looking on that Kuchi again. Wrestling called cross trip. Looks like he wants to duck under on almost. Looked like he wanted to take a duck on this left side. Again, looking the cross collar grip on the left. Swipe at the foot. Two hands on that cross lapel. And Silverio breaks one off. Wiping at the cross trip here. And there's a uh, big drop, Seonagi, but defended by, almost by Canuto's head on the mat. You can hear that from here, a thud. Now he shoots a single here. Wow, beautiful Uchimada now by Silverio. So Canuto in on a single, tries to come up on the hip, and yeah, that's one thing you have to be very cautious of with single legs if, is the Uchimada, and that was well-timed, well done there by Silverio. And then they move out of bounds. And he'll score an advantage for that as they move out of bounds. So almost equal there. Uh, Kunuto up by one advantage, but both guys have, have shown some good stuff on the feet. Both have moved out of bounds or ended out of bounds. And both ended up on the back of their opponent, but out of bounds. Let's call her now. Silverio pumping himself up. Benuto pawing at that left side, his left. Left hand now, now right hand in the collar, now left versus right. Benuto looking maybe for another Tomanagi. He's pushing away on this left side. Now he's broken the grip there, the wrist grip. There's again, he got cross collar, doing a good job of fighting that hand off the, the collar now. Silverio needs a grip here. Trying to make that grip. There he does. Got his own grip.
Two minutes now. Caller for Canuto. Underneath on that sleeve there. Silverio pressing away with his left hand. Final minute here, Canuto up by one advantage. Great match we've had so far. Now oh, Severio shoots. And Canuto nearly took Silverio backwards. Sasai there. Shoots, but from too far. Again, another shot, but a little far away. Canuto Silverio trying to gather that single. Again, whips him down. Pucci drops the Nagi combo, but Silverio facing Canuto, so nothing. 30 seconds now. Silverio doing a really nice job of coming forward here, but negated. Again, nice shot, but. Easily sprawled, a little far away. Now Canuto has the underhooks, it's the guard. He's up by one advantage, so. Silverio might need to just dive on a, on a toe hold or something like this because there's only five seconds left. Not gonna have time to even that advantage. Beautiful contest though, really nice stuff. Potential for fireworks was definitely had. What a what a nice contest. Bunch of nice gripping. Great stuff on the feet. Fun to watch. Renato Canuto, though, your victor, and we'll move forward. On man number two, advancing to the semifinal, representing track man. Nice stuff. By Canuto. We will be back in one moment. 